Hi, it's August 10th. It's my fourth day at Mayo. Um, so, what's happened? Last night, I made myself get out. I went to Trader Joe's and got some snacks. Um, I went to the mall. I have been wanting new Chuck's, Chuck Taylor's, um, Converse, for a long time. And that is what I went to look at and really the only thing I had in mind. It was the first thing I found. I found two pairs. Um, I got gray high tops and purple low tops. They were both $75. Minnesota has no clothes tax. I went to Spencer's and got a pair of skull socks and James a Stormtrooper and a Darth Vader winter cap. I went to Bath and Body Works and got some gift bag stuff for Christmas for teachers and stuff. Uh, I got a four cup measuring glass and I was in Sears and the mall shut down on me. I'm glad I did it. Um, got me out and not so focused on all this junk. This morning I had to be at St. Mary's. It's the hospital. It's connected with Mayo. It's only a block away from where I'm staying at 630. So I woke up at 5 and I walked to McDonald's for coffee. Then I went to the hospital. I was there for a few hours. Then I, and that was all for fibromyalgia stuff. Um, I had 17, she didn't really tell me when they diagnosed me before at, um, it was, I forgot the name of it, but it's like a, a physical doctor, um, and sh she didn't tell me how many points I got, but the fibromyalgia clinic part one and two today told me I had 17 of the 18 points. There was one on the back of my leg I didn't feel. Um, so I bust back to Mayo and that's where I did vascular stuff. It's where, um, they did an ultrasound of, they mainly were looking at my legs and, um, they did ultrasounds of the veins while they compressed them. Um, and then it was almost like a tilt table while they brought me up and down and it had like a roller coaster bar in front of me. Then, um, I went to psychological review. Um, then I went to, um, a sleep study class where they gave me a machine that I have to use tonight. It's just like an oxy pulse and there's like nine feet of cord. I have to put the machine on the floor and then sleep with it on my finger. Um, then I went back to um, psychological review and the doc and then saw a doctor. He was really pleased with how I handle the illnesses and was pretty sure all my symptoms were related from my illnesses and conditions and not anxiety and depression. So I felt like, you know, all of this is going to cost me some sort of money and that was a waste of money because I t already told them that. But now it's on my permanent file that Mayo says that none of my symptoms are for anxiety or depression. So that counts for something. Then I went back to vascular, same type of test. Um, there was my veins in my legs and they inflated them and deflated them. Same kind of thing, but different test. After that, they couldn't get any more in. Every day I take the shuttle from Mayo to St. Mary's. So I have to remember everything. So anything I need. Um, different papers, foods, drinks, stuff to do. I have to remember anything I would need for the whole day. Um, when I came back, I ate dinner and I talked to Chris. Um, 
today and I drove around to find a large lake and I was not feeling great. I was feeling extra potsy. It was 6 37 o'clock, you know, at night I start to go down pretty hard. I walked for a very short while and then I sat with the geese. I uh, watched a hot air balloon go overhead. Then I walked for another really short little bit and got to a bridge and sat there. Then I made myself do a good bit further to a swing where I sat there for a good while watching the boats go by like paddle boats and small canoes. I drank a good amount of water and finally got a little bit of energy up. I walked all the way back to the car and then I walked a little bit further but when I started walking further past the car I had to end up stopping a bunch again and so and taking a bunch of breaks so I just went back to the car. When I was gone at the park James had called and so I called him right back and I talked to both him and Aza. Um, they went to a park that um, somebody had made metal sculptures where kids can climb on so hopefully they got some ideas to tell dad so he can make some sculptures like that for them. Um, I came back now and I'm trying to get most everything organized. Um, it was really neat when I came back. Um, they were having praise and worship. And um, so tomorrow I have to walk to St. Mary's first thing. Then I have to take the bus to Mayo, give my sleep monitor to the doorman, then go back to St. Mary's where I'll stay for eight hours. And that's where they're going to make me a life plan for um, fibromyalgia. Then I'll have to go back to Mayo for a uh, rehabilitation life plan for EDS and POTS. And then back to St. Mary's and then back to the house. And then hopefully I will um, drive to Grandma's house um, where the family reunion will be. And um, then Friday morning, if none of my tests come back where I need Mayo, and then I'll see my kids Friday morning. Um, my MRA or MRI, one of them came back um, when I went to fibromyalgia clinic. It came back um, that there was some kind of mass. It said on the report tumorous or something like that in my sinuses. Um, the fibromyalgia clinic couldn't talk to me about that. I tried to call the neuro. He said it wasn't important for right now and that I need to talk to my primary. There were some other things wrong with MRIs and MRIs. Um, and if there's any issue that needs immediate care with my vascular stuff that I did today, then they'll call me. But most likely I'll have to see my primary on t Tuesday when I get back and she'll review any of the issues on that. So that's pretty much my day. That I had today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow about my um, life plans that they're making for me. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.